I really wanted to delete my cord or June's cord or Tegan's cord once he would be born. Unfortunately, they don't offer this option in my hospital. So I won't be able to do that. And also in France, the thing is that um, you cannot keep your cord for yourself, like the blood inside of the cord for yourself. If you want to extract some blood, you need to donate it. I know that in America it's permitted to keep this blood in case one day if your baby is sick and this could save his life, this blood could save his life because there's so many antibodies in this blood, it is so natural and it can really save a life. And in France they refuse that you keep it because if you keep it that means there's less people that donate their the blood in the cord and if there's less people that donate the blood in the cord there's more people dying because there's less people donating anyways another thing is circumcision i am not going to circumcise my son i know that in america a lot of people do it but in france in europe in general Parents only circumcise their kids if they are Jewish, if they are Muslim, or if they belong to two other Orthodox churches, which is the Coptic Orthodox Church, which is the largest Christian church in Egypt, and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. So if people don't belong to these religions, then they don't... they don't circumcise their child because people do it for religious and cultural matters and then it became a traditional thing such as in america but apparently there are many 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 men <clears throat> circumcised apparently in 2009 there were 30 percent of the men in this world circumcised. I know that I never heard here in France a mother asking to another mother, hey, are you intending to circumcise your boy? It's just not part of the culture. I mean, you you only, over here, you only circumcise your child if you are part of those religions or if your baby has a very bad disease and he needs this operation and if it's for a medical reason they call it here a postectomy postectomy usually uh, they do it if boys have phimosis and or paraphimosis i don't know how you pronounce those in english but never mind hello but of course, if my baby was to have um, a disease down there and he was under 18, I would obviously do something about it and I would hope for surgery. But if he has no problem, I don't want to do anything about it because it's his penis and he chooses whether he wants this surgery that I don't think is compulsory for us because we're, I mean, I am Catholic, Julian is atheist, we, it's not part of our culture or part of our religion. I just don't want to impose something to him because I would not want him to, like, think, oh, why did they do that? I didn't want to do it. I didn't want that, you know. It's his private part. I am not to do anything about it. If he wants to do something with his private parts, when he's when he grows older, then he will. But I won't do anything about it once again unless he has some kind of illness and then I would totally hope for surgery. And I got this web sheet from babycenter.com. So if you want to get all the information go on this website because they have great pieces of information for 
pregnancy, birth, labor and delivery and all that and then baby. So I would totally recommend this website. I think that's about it. Once again, this was just a little rough draft of everything um, that I want for my labor and delivery. Talk to you soon guys. Bye.